Today has been one of the scariest days of my life. It's because I knew three weeks ago that I was preaching today. And I didn't think nothing of it. God always comes through for me. And I've been praying, God, what do you want me to preach on? God, what do you want me to preach on? Yeah. And I never knew what he wanted me to preach on. And so last night... I got out my Bible. There was a few things I thought he wanted me to preach on, but it never stuck. Mm -hmm. Nope. Didn't want and I got out my Bible last night, and I said, God, what do you want me to preach on? Mm -hmm. I need something. Yeah. Because I, I can't do it. Mm -hmm. Amen. And I, I went through the Bible, and I started reading a few scriptures and stuff, and I took some notes, and I wrote some things down, and... Mm -hmm. And I thought, well, I guess that's what God wants me to preach on. Mm -hmm. It wasn't but just a few minutes ago that I found out what God wants me to preach on. It's mm -hmm. been the scariest, scariest yeah. thing that's ever happened to me because I'm supposed to sit up here and, and give y'all the word. Mm -hmm. I'm supposed to lead y'all to righteousness. Well, well. And see, when I'm preaching, not only, and y'all are listening to me, not only am I accountable for what I say, I'm accountable for what I say to you. Amen. Because it's, Amen. My, it's my salvation, it's my soul, right. and then I am responsible for your salvation and your soul. Amen. Amen. And so I was terrified, Brother Amen. Shelby. Amen. I was terrified. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But we're going we're gonna to look at uh, a few scriptures. We're going to go to uh, 2 Timothy. Chapter 4, verse 7 through 9. Amen, amen when you're there. He says 2 Timothy. Yeah. Chapter 4, verse 7 through 9. He says 2 Timothy, what chapter? What chapter? Did you say what chapter? Four. Okay, four. Four chapters. Four. Seven, eight. Okay. It says, I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. Mm -hmm. Henceforth there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me at that day. Mm -hmm. And not only to me, but all unto all them that love his appearing. Mm -hmm. Do that dil diligence to come shortly unto me. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, yes, Lord, I thank you for giving me this, Lord. You, Lord. Mm -hmm. I'd appreciate it if you give it to me a little sooner. Yes, but yes. Lord, I thank you for you giving me this, Lord, and I thank you for giving me the opportunity to be here today. Yes, yes. I thank you for everyone that's here, Lord. Yes. And Lord, I ask you just to reach down and anoint me and yes. let me deliver your word. And Lord, I ask you just to touch somebody in, in the church. Yes. Touch them all, Lord. Bless them all, Lord. Yes. In your loving name we pray. Amen. 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 I'm thankful that my youngest son, Hunter Luke, is here with me tonight. Or this morning. Amen. And a little backstory on him is I was in uh, I was sitting in school when I was in seminary, and we was trying to make up think of a name for him. His mama wanted him to have her initials, which is HLC. <laughs> And we, we decided on Hunter, and I was sitting in school, and uh, we was going over the book of Luke, and it hit me like a ton of bricks, Hunter Luke. He is named after the apostle Luke. But, but when, I, when my time comes up, I want to hear, hear I fought a good fight. Say it, say it, say it, I, I want to hear that I did what I was supposed to do. Say it, say it. I want to, I want to hear that I give everything I could give, Brother Shelby. Yes. I want to hear that I did everything that I could possibly do Amen. to magnify well, and glorify Amen. our Lord. Amen. Yes, Lord. Yeah. Yes, Lord. I want to be judged upon that. I want say to be it, judged baby. upon, you know. I get there and, and he says, you know what, son? Mm -hmm. You did everything you could in your power. You did everything yeah, you could well, to, well. to lead on the Christ. You did yes. everything you could to help save that one yeah. son. Yeah. 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 And I don't know about Brother Shelby, but I know within Come me, on. I don't I don't need to lead the masses. I would love Come to. Lead, on. But I just want that one person. Amen. Yes. That one person yes. that I knew 
that I brought them to Jesus. Amen. Well, well. Now, I would love to take hundreds and thousands of people and let them meet my Savior, Jesus Christ. Yeah. But I just want that one. Because if I can get that one, Brother Shelby, then I know that I did something right. Amen. Amen. You know, when I get to heaven, I want God to say, you know what? You did all right by me. You did good by me. Amen. Because I don't want to get there, Brother Shelby. Say and, and he said, depart from me. Say it. Well, I never knew you. Amen. 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 That's right. Amen. You know, that scripture, that scripture's over in Matthew uh, uh, 7, 23. It says, and then I will profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, you work of iniquity. Mm-hmm. I don't want to get up there and hear that. Amen. You know, I try every day. I, we, was, we was all born in sin. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And I, I, I try every day to, to further my step with Christ. I try every day to, you know, when I put my right foot down, it's for Christ. When I put my left yeah. foot down, Amen. it's for Christ. And when yeah. I'm doing something, it is for Christ. Amen. It is not for me. It is not for anybody else. But it's right. to magnify and glorify Amen. our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 I want to fight my good fight. Yes, yeah. Lord. Yeah. When I die, and you know, when I say this, I don't want anybody to think 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 anything else. When, but but what I'm saying is, I'm not suicidal or nothing like that. But I wake up every day ready to die. Mm-hmm. I wake up every day ready to die because you know why? Because I'm where I need to be. Yeah. I am where, and, and and I'm not living to die. I am dying to live. Amen. Well, well. Amen. I didn't. I didn't come all Amen. this way yeah. not to make it. Mm-hmm. When I get up there and I'm being judged, Brother Shelby, I want him to look at me and say, "Come on in, son. Here's a place for you. Yeah. Here is your crown of righteousness." Yeah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. And, I, and I, when I said before I started reading, I was terrified. I was scared to death. I'm talking, I'll fight a grizzly bear. I'll fight a tiger. I'll do anything. And I've d- done some crazy things in my life. I used to ride bulls for fun. Wait, don't you? Nobody made I was scared to death, Amen. y'all. Amen. Because I didn't want to get up here and fail, y'all. Mm. I didn't want to get up here and fail, y'all. Mm-hmm. And I was so terrified. Because all I have to do is say the wrong word and you right. believe it. Right. And then I'm accountable, accountable mm-hmm. for you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that's and that's I, I can't stress that enough. When I when I when I get up there, I, I just want to hear, you did good, son. Mm-hmm. Amen. You did Amen. good. We was all kids and we was all growing up and a lot of times mm-hmm. uh, our parents would look at us and uh-huh. and say I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. Yeah, yeah. And, and, my, and my parents looked at me a lot of times, didn't even say nothing. They just shook their head. Yeah. They just shook their head. And to me, I wish they had just picked up a stick and hit me with it. Then, then just shake their head at me. Or, or say, I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. Uh-huh. I would have rather got ten whippings than hear that. Amen. Because a whipping goes away in a few minutes. Yeah. You got all day and all week to think oh, about oh, why you disappointed your parents. Amen. Yeah. That's right. That's so true. Mm-hmm. And I don't want to disappoint my father. Amen. Amen. I don't Amen. want to get up there Amen. and he look at me and go, I'm not mad at you, unless I'm just disappointed. Mm-hmm. Amen. I don't want to get up there and him look at me and not even say nothing, just shake his head. Mm-hmm. Shake it, shake it. I want to get up there and he say, you did good. Praise you did good by me. Praise Amen. You know, over in Matthew 7, mm-hmm. uh, 13 and 14, mm-hmm. it talks about, you know, taking his path. It says, straight is the way, wide is the gate. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Narrow is the way. You know, a lot of people look at Christians, look at us and say, huh. well, you know what? That's an easy life. Well, I'm here to tell you. It's not an easy life. Amen. And, and some and somebody asked me one time. They said, "Well, why ain't being a Christian easy? If if you're living for the Lord and you're living for God and you're living for Christ and you're doing everything you can do, why is it not easy? Why is He not taking care of you?" Mm-hmm. I'm gonna bog on these waters. 
Yeah. And I said this. I said, do you think it was easy for Jesus? Come on. Amen. Come on. Packing that cross on his back. Say it. Say it. With his insides hanging out. Say it. Right. Say it. That crown of thorns on top of his head. Do you think it was easy for him walking up that hill? Amen. No. And you know what? And not only why he was doing that. Say it. He was thinking about me. He was thinking about you, brother Shelby. He was thinking about each and every one of y'all. He had y'all on his mind packing that cross. Amen. Amen. That is exactly right. He did that for us because he loves us. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Yes, Lord. And all, all he wants in return is for us. To love him Absolutely. and worship him and, mag and, and magnify his name. Amen. He gives man free will. And, and, and of course, we're talking about Jesus now. Amen. We're talking Amen. about, you know, I, I preached about him spitting in the dirt, rubbing it on the guy's eyes, making him see. And right. uh, the, the lady with the issue of the blood touching yeah. him. Y'all, yeah. I preached about that. Y'all heard yeah. it. Yeah. We're talking about that same Jesus yeah. Yeah. that did that. Yeah. Walked up to Mount Calvary, uh -huh. walking that cross, yeah. bleeding, and he knew when he got up there, he knew what he was going to do. Say it, say it. Yeah. He knew he was going to die. As a matter of fact, I can't remember where it's at. Brother Shelby probably does. But it says Jesus was praying, and he said he prayed so hard that blood come out of his forehead, and he said, God, I'll do this. Father, I'll do this. Yeah. And this is your will. Yeah. yeah. But I want your will. I want thy will. Yeah. Well, yeah. He prayed so hard. Yes, Lord. And, and see, he was praying to his father. And he said, Father, I will do this if it's your will. If thy will be done. Yes, mm -hmm. see, when he was praying that prayer, Brother Shelby, he was thinking about us. Amen. He was thinking about us, church. Yeah. He prayed so hard. Now, imagine this. You are concentrating so hard yeah. on something, praying so hard yeah. that instead of sweat out of your pores, blood uh -huh. comes out of your pores. Lord, now there's a there's a doctor. He's a double doctor. He's an actual physician doctor, uh -huh. but he also has a doctor degree, uh, a PhD in theology. Yeah. Uh -huh. And he said it is very possible. It, it is a hundred percent possible that a man can do something and be so hyper focused. That blood can come from his pores. Oh, Lord, have mercy, Jesus. So, um, just try to think the last time you did anything that hard that blood come from out of your pores. Because I can't. Mm -hmm. That's never happened to me. No. Mm -hmm. But our Jesus. Oh, yes. Our Jesus yeah. did that for us. Yes. yes. And all we got to do, all we got to do is love him. Amen. All we got to do is give our heart and soul to him. Yeah. All we got to do is worship him and magnify his name. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Now going back to the straight as the gate, wide as the way, it is a narrow, and I'm talking a narrow path mm -hmm. yeah. to be a Christian. Amen. Say it. Say it. And, I, and this is something I believe. Amen. You don't have to believe this. This is something I believe. Say it, Reverend. Uh, that, that narrow path we have to walk to be a Christian that narrow path is because the narrow path that Christ had to walk up on that hill to carry that cross to be up there for us. Well, that was it. not an easy walk for him. Say it. Amen. And say see, it. and something just come to me. Just, just, just right now, it just come to me. Mm -hmm. yeah. now, see, the, the weight of that cross, not only did he have the weight of that cross on him, come on. but he had the weight of all of us. Yeah. Yeah. He did, he did that for all of us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. He did that so we, we could live. That's right. Mm -hmm. You know, and I see a lot of times people in church, they, they're struggling with things and they're fighting things and they're battling these demons. Uh -huh. And they're doing all this stuff and they think they're all alone. Come on. But church, I'm here to tell you, you're fighting fight. It's already been won. Amen. You're you're in a you're in a war. It's already been won. You're you're, you're, you're you're battling yourself, and you don't need to. All you have to do is is let go. Take it to Jesus and put it at His feet and say, Lord, it's yours. I don't care. Anymore. You do what you need to do to make this right or whatever the situation may be. 
because I know that within myself I cannot accomplish yeah. nothing without Jesus Christ. Yeah. 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 Anybody that can raise the dead, he just hollered in there. He said, Come on out there, Lazarus. He didn't even touch him, he just hollered at him. Anybody that can do that can surely, can surely manage to take care of Les Collins' problems. Amen. He will. Because no matter how, how, how far above my head I think I am with my, my problems or my doubts or my debts or my fears or whatever, it's still beneath his feet. That's right. That's right. It is still beneath his feet. That's right. You are so right. So in closing, I want to hear you fought a good fight. I want to hear you did my will. And I just want to look at his face and see him smile at me and say that. I don't want to get up there and hear Depart from me, for I never knew you. Yeah. You worked of iniquity. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Thank y'all for this opportunity. God said that's it. So I do I do have some